before your family and friends as a symbol of your coming together, take each other by the right hand. Throughout the years we have been together, we have been through so much. No matter what, we always have each other. And when one of us is down, the other one is always there to pick them back up. Today, I promise you that throughout the good and bad times in life, I will always be by your side. As a parent, when your kids are little, you look at them and you hope and pray that they will always be safe and have a life full of love and happiness. So we are thrilled for the love and happiness Emma and Cal have found together. You look beautiful. You crush me. I count to you, Emma. Whose right hand I hold. Whose right hand I hold. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I do promise. I do promise. A covenant before God. A covenant before God. And before family and friends here. And before family and friends here. To be to you. To be to you. A caring. A caring. A faithful. A faithful. And dutiful husband. And dutiful husband. To love and cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. In all the good and bad circumstances of and, life. In all the good and bad circumstances of life. I now declare you to be husband and wife uh, with God's blessing. And what God has joined together, then let not man separate. So you may kiss your bride and give a big quick ride. <laughs> To my amazing wife, um, words cannot describe how beautiful you look tonight. Um, I feel so lucky and grateful to have you in my life. Seeing you walk down the aisle with your dad today is, is, is the most magical moment of my life. I want to finish my speech with a little poem from uh, Rabbi Burns. So and it's, it's towards Emma. So fair out thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I, and I will love thee still, my dear, till I the seas gang dry. If everyone could raise their glass in the air, to two cultures coming together, let's have a bloody good night. Thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emma and Callum, the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Donnelly.